So I'm making this video to uh, find out how many CO2 cartridges, um, I believe these are 16 grams, uh, it takes to actually inflate a, uh, a 190 55 17 tire uh, to a usable pressure, I'm going to say around about 30 psi. Um, I'm using these cartridges, I, I bought a a box from Amazon of uh, like 30 of them for about, for about $30 so they weren't very expensive. Um, I'm using a uh, Lazine tire inflator. Uh, I think this cost me like about $12, $13 as well. It wasn't very expensive. Um, so I'm going to take the uh, the valve core out, let the tire totally down and, uh, and then I'm going to put the core back in and um, inflate the tire and see how we do. Uh, one of the things I found with this uh, straight on valve core, when I actually did get a flat in the tire, uh, I was unable to get a, a straight on chuck on it. So next time I change my tires, I'm going to do go with a right angle valve. So there we go. Okay, we're uh, at atmospheric pressure inside now the tire now. Uh, put the valve back in. Put a couple of canisters in first because uh, one's not going to give it a lot, awful lot of pressure. Um, Okay, that's uh, on pretty good. So, I recommend wearing gloves because these will go icy cold once the uh, pressure is released. And Lazine actually gives you a little neoprene sleeve to go over this okay that's one and see it uh, frosted over that'll give me so we'll go away second one and then I'll take a pressure reading I can fill the uh, A little bit came out there. Well, I'll take a pressure read now. Trusty Motion Pro. Let's see what we got. Alright, I got uh, 
9.9 psi with two cartridges. Cartridge number three. Okay, so that is there. Uh, 14 and a half psi um, with three cartridges. I'm going to guess a little bit of residual pressure that comes out of the end is basically uh, equivalent to what's in the tyre at the time. So this is four cartridges. Nineteen point four psi. So we're getting about five psi in there from each cartridge. Um, I'm not going to waste any more cartridges because that seems pretty consistent. Um, so it would take at least six cartridges, six or seven cartridges to get you up to about 30 psi. Um, so you get about four and a half, five psi in per uh, per shot. I'm going to go back to my uh, compressor and fill up because I don't think there's any point in wasting any more cartridges because it seems fairly uh, consistent.